Heroes of Warcraft. Okay then. Got our first win after the draft though. So uh let's just yeah. spin some more. Like you Gavins. So if yeah. we stick to our pattern, there's gonna be a loss. No, 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 come on, come on. Positivity, I, please. I have faith in this draft, it's got a lot of flexibility. I think it's got a lot of options, but I'm just worried about if we let the game get on too far, then we're just going to be flat against, um, I don't know, flat against a lot of possible endgame stuff that we prob probably won't be able to deal with. Uh, I'm not sure whether to keep that deadly poison or not, really. I would definitely you keep that. the deadly poison. I was wondering about the cult master. Keep the cult master. Yeah, I mean, I the chances aren't we're going to draw a two drop though, aren't we? So, but we could draw a backstab. Or, so I would get rid of the cult. Okay. Yeah. Deadly poison is a no-brainer. You have to keep it. Especially if you mana worms, for example, we're kind of yeah. forced to. That's a pretty good starting hand. Right, I would do. Well, I mean, we could eviscerate, but I don't think there's any immediate rush. So personally, no, I would like, do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> playing anything this turn isn't going to do anything. No. You can. Next turn, I can just uh, dagger, poison, yeah, kill the worm. Yeah, exactly. See what he's got. Maybe he's gone assassin. Nope. Huh? No, he hasn't got anything. If anything, he would have had a frost bolt, maybe. But yeah, dagger, coin, poison, and kill the worm. And then next and, uh, turn, in I'm guessing. Looking at an in master. Yeah. And we should be able to clear most things he puts down there. I mean, I guess uh, Scarlet Crusader would be quite annoying, but we'll see. For the there we go. <laughs> Called it. See now it's whether or not we want to actually attack it. But I think Imp is a no brainer. We're definitely yeah. doing it. Um, oh, yeah. Do we want to go to the shield or not? That's the question. I, I don't. Th if we hadn't had a deadly poison blade, yeah. I don't like the idea of wasting three attack on it personally. Okay, but he's definitely going to next turn just hit it. You know. And yeah. To a one-one. But we should have a 1 1 on the board to get rid of it. So, exactly. Okay. That's fair enough. I mean, next. Well, he, he will. Oh! No, I was thinking keeping it. Oh. <laughs> oh you wouldn't hit him. <laughs> Never mind. Well, oops. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We've got the Assassin's Blade soon, anyway, so we'll see why that happens. Snorax, by the way. Well. His name is Snorax. It is indeed. Finding a big one, Snorlax. Oh, lovely. Oh. Well, it just so happens that I don't think it actually made so much of a difference there. Um. Uh, well, we could clear this. Oh. We have I'm, I'm just, here. I'm trying to think how we're going to clear it though, because at the moment I can only get, see how to clear the yeti. What blue gill? Uh, you can kill the yeti with playing the blue gill and then eviscerating the yeah. hitting it with the imp. Oh yeah, I and suppose if we. Uh... The only so, option is: do you want to dagger to kill the yeti or eviscerate no. blood imp? I'd rather eviscerate blood imp, to be honest. So, blue gill regardless. Uh, this is the player that I've spotted, the defending yeah. star. No, I'd go for that, yeah. So, blue gill. Uh, imp. Aaron, are you, can you still see? Okay. Okay, then. So. I think it's having problems, isn't it? Hello? Ah, oh, it's tearing. He's DC. Oh, okay. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be back on eventually. Okay, right. So, 
We've cleared the board at least from the yep. uh, front of the D3. Uh huh. So we can clear the board again if we want, and I don't see any better play. I personally would Assassin's Blade and get rid of that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything better to really do though. Yeah. Not really. So let's see what he's got. We've got the assassinate if he puts something real good down. But we'll see. Hmm. We've got a lot of board control. Yep, we've even got the option of deadly poisoning and an assassin's blade now, which would be pretty sick. Yeah. Um, the only problem is our health, I guess, especially against the mage. And we don't actually have any solid minion in our hand. So no, which is the point. which is the big problem right now. Hmm. He's playing a very draw heavy deck. That's annoying. Yeah, that's very annoying. That's a 4 4, right? It is indeed. I have half of me is inclined to play it. It's a real waste. I mean, it's a waste of its battle cry, to be honest, but um, I don't really think there's any other choice to do right now. No. Personally, I would play that and then I would still deadly poison and get rid of yeah. the damage. Enter the shadows. Oh, hello, Terry. Welcome back. It's alright. So basically what you've missed is we've kind of been forced to use something we didn't really want to, but we didn't have any other minions. Okay. Yeah. I mean, next turn looks relatively straightforward. Shattered Sun, Defender. But yeah. we're well, in we're in flame strike range right now, so Yeah. Um, I was gonna say that. We need to watch out with what we do. If anything, but you don't have to play the Shattered Sun, or you don't have to play the Defender, but we'll see what we draw, because that may dictate. Yeah. Right. Another loot order. Wow. Are you going to have boss ball? I'm just seeing... I, I think he's just playing the draw game right now. He's got a lot of cards. Oh, ho. that's you, a mirror entity, I imagine. Yes, you'd imagine so. Oh, now that's a good draw for us, though. Um, right. So, in which case would you? Well, you were going to say Shattered Sun. Oh, I no. was, but I'm tempted to say Dark Scale Healer because it's going to force him to actually ping the actual. Um, Master of Disguise, as well as throw the Loot Hoarder into it. But if yeah. that's the thing is, if that is a m uh, mirror entity, he's going to get a tasty yeah, four five on his board. Can, we can take it out there. We'll be yeah. on seven to health, but I think that's the best play. We're going to have to play with our health a bit, regardless of what we do here. Right, so it's not, it's not right. Which means that I imagine it's probably an ice spawn barrier. Um, they could have been vaporized. See, so, um, but we can't have played around that. Even if we'd done this yeah. first, we wouldn't have played around it. So. Yeah, I'm not sure. If you want to check if it's vaporized, we could use the weapon to the face, but it's a bit risky. It is a bit risky, but I think we may as well do it. I'd, I'd agree, because if it is ice block, then we can actually just... Right, uh, it's, it, it, it's a vaporize. Um, right, are we going to get take out the Nomish, or are we going to... I would take out the Nomish. Well, he's gonna, yeah, he's he's gonna ping it next turn anyway, so because he'll want to clear it off the board. And to be honest, at this point, we're we're looking to control the board anyway. Yeah. So we're not going to hit it anytime soon, and we can decide what we want to hit it with. Definitely. Well, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> no. Blame Hearthstone. Or blame this rogue. Blame Snorlax. Yeah. Sleeping on your internet connection. Putting some sort of hex on them. Well, that's assassinate fodder, I imagine, if ever I saw one. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, counter spell happens. Could be a counter spell, that's the only thing I haven't really True. quantified for. Counter spell or um, spell speaker, basically. Right, the but in which case, if we want to check it, then maybe we should actually sacrifice this Dark Skull Healer and hit him. That's a bit risky, but at least then we know for certain. 
what what are you checking for? Vaporize. Well, we we know it's not an ice barrier, and we know it's not a mirror entity. It's vaporize or counter spell. Okay. Or, um, you know the one free thing and um, spell shield. But that would have been such a weird play. I think it is vaporize, but I mean, who knows? It's arena. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. Well, do don't have another way to check for it, so you might as well, I guess. Yeah, I'd say kiss him to the face. And it probably is a way for us, but we'll see. No, nope. it's a counter spell then, is it? In which case, we sort of have to watch Shadowed Sun and Defender. Yeah, I think that's the only play right now. Yeah. We must cleanse the sun well. And we're still, uh, I mean, yeah, he's not going to have any clear-cut way of getting rid of this unless he does a frost bolt and a flame strike. But even if he has a flame strike, he'll still have to. Oh, sorry, no, my bad, no, that was stupid of me. Yeah, he'll be able to ping if he kind of hits it with the ogre. If he does, if, he, if he hits this with the ogre, he'll ping it, or he'll or he'll just flame strike and clear the board after hitting it with the ogre. Which would also be a valid play. Ooh. Oh, at least we only had one charge left. We got, yeah. we got some good value out of that. So we're in an okay position. He's going to hit the. Oh, okay. Does well, mean that he still doesn't have any. Well, I think it's. Ooh. Oh. I See, I was gonna dark iron the defender and throw the defender at the ogre, but that sprint is looking mighty, I think we, mighty tasty. I, I think well, it's gonna be a counter spell, isn't it? Iron. We figured out that it's a counter spell, didn't we? Yes. Well, if it if it's if it's the other spell direction, then it won't affect the sprint. But yeah. So you want to choose one that you don't care about, basically. <laughs> I think in this case, then I would assassinate um, the ogre, and if it doesn't, if it's cancelled out, we can dark iron dwarf it, and um, we can dark iron dwarf the yeah. C3 and just run it into it. Because yes. no, we're there. gonna need it next turn. Well, it still gives us control of the board, I guess. Yep. So that's not a bad play for us. No, and know. we can still sprint next turn. Yep. yep. And then we'll have three mana to play with, and we should be able to play something. Yeah. We may even get an eviscerate if we're lucky. Maybe. Uh, oh, that's very annoying. Yeah. Another secret. Secrets are annoying, aren't they? That could may well be the same one. It, it could. I think it was, it yeah, was but like, if it's the same one, uh, sprint. it won't be affected by sprint because uh, sprint's not affecting a minion. But uh, is not playing sprint really an option, though? Yeah. Go for it, then just hope not, it's not, not playing sprint might just be conceding the game anyway. Yeah. Ooh, great. Ah. That's awesome. That is good. Backstab and blood sale, I'd say. Yeah. Backstab the. Uh, see if it's spelled then, I guess. And it's not. Mirror entity, or. Well, it could be a myriad no, of things. This could be anything by this point. It's probably something like. It's yeah. a mirror entity. Yeah, and that's a very good card for us to put down for that. Yep. So, back in the not, game all of a sudden. Not as good as a novice, but... No, not as good as a novice, but... What are you going to do, eh? Right, so it's a question of what he's got in his hand, really. Because that's the obvious drain. And can he capitalise? I'd say so. Hmm. Yeah, that's very intimidating. Yeah, this is the problem. I don't think we've got a lot that can just deal with this, and now he's just going to straight out put everything on the board. Uh, hmm. I think I'm novice anyway. Gonna have yes, to know. indeed. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help things. No. Still, uh, how much has he got? 4, 8, 10, 13. Oh, he's actually got, no, 11, 12. He's got 12. <laughs> We're in a pretty bad position though, I think. Yeah, well, we can't, we can't win, because even if he just throws everything at the face this turn, I'm left on one health, and unless I do 18 damage next turn. Well, we, we do have a, a chance if War Golem and he doesn't get rid of it, because then we can draw a Viscerate and still win. True. But pfft, he's probably got sheep or something. <laughs> if he oh. doesn't get rid of War Golem in this position and he doesn't well, actually any have... any spell is gonna win in this game right now. Yeah. yeah. Well maybe an arcane missiles would be lols. 
but it's yeah, more likely yeah, than not yeah. it would still win in the game. Well, See, wouldn't it win him by default because of the work? Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, that was a bit of an annoying game. Especially as Terry, the view went around 100%. Yeah, I, I don't think we did anything incorrectly while Terran dropped out, though. But Unfortunately, we didn't draw any of our loot orders, really, did we? We had one early on, but we didn't draw the second one, and that would have been very yeah. useful. Um, but, yeah. but this th that was the kind of situation I was worried about, when it gets to a late game phase and we haven't really got anything to deal with anything on the board. I still think we actually have decent control, though. I mean, I think... That in that case, a mage is not really a very good matchup for us in general. I mean, a mage isn't a very good matchup for anyone in the arena, but um, it's just going to be an annoying opponent to face. Okay. Rope on rope. See what happens. Oh, uh, I think that's a better hand. I think we keep all of that, to be honest. Um, when are we going to use the fire swing leader? Realistically. Uh, Maybe an overrated pick in the case. Without the coin, I don't see us using it until turn 4. And personally, I would get rid of it. I know it's a weird thing. Most people would probably keep it here because we're likely to draw a 2, cuff, a two drop. But as far as I'm concerned, we've got our two and three players anyway. So I'd get rid of that. But unless I guess you can make a case that we may draw, you know, you know, backstab. No, I, I I think you're correct. I think we spin the defiance at this point. Yeah, I don't think we're going to use it for the next couple of turns. No. So, mm. I mean, that's not much better. I'll give you granted. But. Could be. If we were second, obviously it would have been entirely different. <laughs> right, yeah, definitely. But um, it's interesting. I think he's going to do what we wanted to do. No. No. Nope. Wow. That is questionable. That's very weird, especially actually hitting us to the face. I can yeah. understand. If he saved the dagger, that yeah. would have been one thing. But <sighs> that's weird. Right. Well, hmm. I don't know. I think he made a mistake. That yeah. uh, the fact he's kind of waiting so long, I think he's realised he did something wrong. So now we just have to figure out if we want to um, novice or um, dagger up. I think we novice, to be fair. I would too. We're not going to ever get any value of that out of it, are we? Let's be honest. I mean, I think it's. Still well, you'd only dagger up if we wanted to. Um, Blood cell next turn. Yeah. I think we can get better with the blood cell. I don't think we should be too greedy, but I can see us playing a 10-4. Yeah, that's fair. Are you really going to hit us to the face? Okay. Apparently so. Well, I guess, I mean, to tell us fair, he's probably got deadly poison. But... Yeah. Interesting. Uh, well, regrettably, maybe we are forced to play the Blood Cell Raider. Yeah, but we could cold blood it. Make it a 6 3. We would do that stealthily, maybe next turn. With oh, yeah, Perdition's next blade, turn. Yeah, no. Or we could even do cold blood into Perdition's Blade, but um, I think we want board presence. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'll see what he's doing. I'm very intrigued by his play so far. Don't mean to sound like elitist. I'm just <laughs> no, no, no. It's um, <laughs> I think he's just taking the opportunity to do damage while he can. I mean, it's not like he's stuck a uh, petition's blade on the board really early and just smacked us in the face with it. I mean, to be fair, he didn't really lose anything by doing it that way. No, as it turned out, I mean, we didn't actually do much either. So, but we've got a very good hand now, in my opinion. We can pretty much deal with anything. So let's see what he's got. I mean, what are the options for him at a three mana? Well, 
Screw Crusader again, uh, but Perdition's Blade would deal with it on its own. Um, hmm. Right, we could even consider Cold Blooding 4 3 and then Perdition's Blading it, or we could just Perdition's. Well, we don't actually need to use Perdition's here, we could just Imp Master if we wanted. What yeah. do you guys think? We could even imp master. I think we imp blood. master cold blood and get rid of the Take one out. four. That's a fair shout. Yep. We've got a lot of choice. I think imp master would be important to play. Because I didn't see we drew it, <laughs> but it's quite a good draw for us. Because realistically, what can he do to to deal with that easily aside from a weapon? Double fan of knives is about the only thing I'm thinking, but it's a bit of a waste. Couldn't afford it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean. Eviscerates are always going to be able to deal with things, but... That's true. Well... Betrayal Dagger. Oh no, he's just going to kill... Okay. He's just going to kill the Imp Master. I think that was quite good for us, because that could have gone far worse. And I actually wasn't even thinking of Betrayal, so... Well, I definitely would have betrayed. I would have betrayed. yeah, to kill the Imp. The 6-2, for yeah. one. Yes! But Oh, didn't he do that? No. No, he no. he used oh. betrayal on the six two and killed the imp master. Oh yeah, shows how perceptive I am. No, okay. Well, I would be inclined to then fend creeper and defend that. Yes. Absolutely. What, what can he do now? Unless. Well, you know, unless he has another betrayal in his hand. <laughs> uh, he made a bad betrayal play in but order to set us up for a good betrayal play. Yeah. Even then, he's. He's only getting a one for one, and we've still got a powerful card on the board, regardless of what he gets rid of. He may even consider assassinating the fan creeper. No, yeah. he does seem to have another one. Alright. Do you want a loot hoarder into the fan Oh, we'll see what he does. Sorry, my bad. It's interesting. Uh, there's the fan of knives. And will he finally get rid of it? I would sure. hope so. Yeah. That's still done its share of damage. Yeah. That's done the majority of the damage we've done to him, hasn't it? Mm. Pretty much. Um, I think we loot hoarder and perditions at this point. Well, realistically, next turn we're going to war golem, aren't we? Yeah. So, I would personally use defender because I don't see us using it another time. Um, but that's just me, just to get the, the extra person on board. Because turn 7, War Golem, and then turn 8, we can Faceless. See, yeah, I was thinking uh, keeping the Faceless to, for the War Golem at this moment, but... Yeah, so I, I don't see us using Defender of Argus in this game. So what, just Loot Horde right. Defender? Yeah, I know, maybe it's, well, we're playing Loot Horde, yeah, regardless. But would both of you prefer Perdition's Blade, yeah? Mm, I, normally I would have gone for that play, but I like the Defender, actually. I don't see us using it another time, plus with yeah. Perdition's Blade on turn 8, we can use yeah, it I guess. with Faceless. Shall we, uh, we, we see if he's got another uh, Betrayal? Because <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in a good position here unless he has a monstrous turn this turn, because turn 7 will go on, he has to assassinate or we pretty much won, then he's only got 2 mana left, and then by which point we've still done probably half his health at least. So, let's see what he's got. Maybe Sunwalk would be annoying. Hmm. Huh. I stopped thinking War Golem's the right turn. Yeah. Mind you. I'm actually thinking... Mind you, you I'm could actually Blue Gill. Blue Gill, Perdition's Blade, yeah. and keep the board clear. Yeah, that's better actually. Uh, Personally, I would attack the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, yeah attack the 4-4, four, four, chuck the Murloc into that, and then kill yeah. the 2-2 two, two with 2-3. Two, two yeah. yeah. Well, personally, I would have attacked it you know, with that weapon, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See what happens.
I'm really, really confused by some of these plays he's doing. I wouldn't... Mm, yeah, right. This is where I actually have an extra health may have helped the defender, but see what he does. Does he get all back? I'm guessing that's what he's deliberating. Um, okay, an extra card. Like well, well, he uh, could have done that. Yeah, he could have done the next one. Right. I think that's weird. But. Yeah. Five, seven. Oh, we can still play the war golem and clear the board. Yeah. Which I think is the better play. Yeah, I'd go for that. It's just a shame, but yeah. Draw first, though. As always, but. Oh. Don't have the two mana, unfortunately. No, but it means next turn that we may well have lethal. So, yeah. No. Depends on what we draw. But. Unless, I mean, this is where I expect the assassinate to come out, to be honest. but He should do, but he's only got three mana to work with after that. So we should be able to cover whatever he does, even with his insane guard advantage. And if yeah. he doesn't, then we just, you know, faceless and wood wood. I am the blade of the goddess. Yeah, I think we actually eviscerate that. Yeah. Shields up. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. Oh, wow, we can play the board then. So, faceless war golem, eviscerate the priest, attack Sun Fury after we backstab it. Would you agree? Yeah, no. No, I'm with you. So then, after that, backstab the Sun Fury. And then attack it straight yeah. on. And I would just say put the blue holder down for the walls. Why not? Yeah. And we're in a very strong position. Even yeah. without any cards. <laughs> no, no, definitely. I mean, we don't have lethal next turn unless we draw something. Crayol. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a sun bomb. Well, that's nah. not going to save you, fella. Yeah, you know, unless he's got another sun fury, yeah. But I don't he'll think. Won. That's true, actually. He'll leave oh, one. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, unless we draw an eviscerate or something. No, he's he's dead. He's <laughs> this again? <laughs> Just a <rubber laughs> <dude. laughs> I hate him when people do that to me, but we've just done it. <laughs> I probably would have done it the same. That's all good. So what's that put us on? Two? Two one. So we continue your trend of... <laughs> yeah, win-lose, win-lose. how things play out. Indeed.